In this video, we're gonna look at using Dropbox as our download storing area or our digital delivery service. So what I've done, I've got the same PDF over here on the left. I've created a folder inside Dropbox, which is empty at the moment. And as always, the same, you can, you, you can choose to upload a file with this little link here, or you can drag it in place. I'm gonna drag it because it's just on my desktop. Drop it here and it's going to upload into my Dropbox account. So you can see there it's uploaded. Um, it's pretty much the same as Google Drive in a way. You can rename files, all the different options. I've right clicked there, I could rename this um, file as well. Go through and you'll see as I hover over this share icon comes up on the right hand side. So if I click on share, very much the same as um, Google Drive, we have the option here to share this link or you can change permissions and you can share it with other people you know, if you know their email and stuff. So this one I'm gonna leave is anyone with the link can see it. So that means anyone with this link can see the file if they if click on the link, you know, go and see the file. And if I copy this link, so I'm just highlighting the link there, and then Control, or I'm using Command C on the Mac, and I'm gonna do the same again, I'm gonna go and open incognito window. The reason I'm doing this is because I wanna check that the file works outside of my browser session that I'm in. And you can see here, this is what's happening. It's prompting me to come to the file and it's saying, uh, or this is that PDF in the background and Dropbox is prompting me to go and create an account if I don't really have one. And just below that, you can see there's an option in no thanks, continue to view. So what I've done there, I've got the, the file uh, linked or uploaded into my Dropbox account and I've got the link to that file. Okay, so what I'm gonna do then is go back, get that link again and copy it. So I'll close this down. Here's my link here. I'm gonna go back to my notepad and I'll just put Dropbox. And there's my link for the file stored in Dropbox. So that's all we have to do now. What we've done, we've got a file, it's stored online and now we've got a link to it which we're going to use in our download and our thank you page in a later video.